News investigates something found in every drugstore in America and whether health risks were minimized because of a conflict of interest. Few people know that Fixident has an ingredient linked to serious health problems in large doses. And 2020 anchor Chris Cuomo set out to get some answers. Let's start getting tingling in my fingertips. For the last 10 years, 41-year-old construction worker Mark Jacoby had no idea why his body was failing. When you started to have the symptoms and mm -hmm. started to lose different types of muscle control, you have kept using Fix-It-Act. Yes, because I had no clue. Doctors eventually tied his disorder to high levels of the mineral zinc. High zinc intake can lead to the depletion of copper levels in the body, which can cause nerve damage. So where did he get all the zinc? Jacoby says it was his denture cream, Fixident, which contains zinc. Fixident, yeah, forget it. Guaranteed. Gets soaked in your body, and it messes with the nerves. A study in 2006 of four patients first made the possible link between heavy use of denture cream containing zinc and neurological problems, including numbness and muscle weakness. But publication of that study was delayed for more than two years, according to its authors, because of a peer review by Dr. Kenneth Shea, which said the authors don't understand the nature of the material they're writing about. But ABC News has learned Dr. Shea failed to disclose a conflict of interest, that he was also a paid consultant for Procter & Gamble, the makers of Fixident. That's a fundamental transgression of professional medical ethics, uh, and not to be allowed. ABC News obtained documents in which Shea sent draft reports to Procter & Gamble saying in one email, please be circumspect because as a reviewer, I'm not supposed to be passing an unpublished manuscript around. Look, it is an outrage. It's a fundamental breach of confidentiality. The guy simply broke all rules of conduct. In a phone call with ABC News, Shea defended his review and said that the study had objective shortcomings. However, in 2009, Procter & Gamble added new label information, a caution that prolonged zinc intake may be linked to adverse health effects. But for Mark Jacoby, who says his body will never recover, it's a warning that comes way too late. Fix it and forget it. Well, apparently I can't forget it. Because it stuck a lot away from me. Procter & Gamble said in a statement that they know of no valid scientific evidence that using Fixident as directed causes any health, ill health effects. But here's the thing. This binder has over 360 adverse event reports that went directly to the FDA, Diane, from using uh, this type of product. The FDA wouldn't talk to us about what they're doing about these. Procter & Gamble wouldn't talk to us about what they're doing about these. So we are asking everybody, tell us, come to the website, let us know what's going on. Let's make sure this gets heard. Look at the size of that binder. Yes, I can barely hold it. And you're going to keep following up. Absolutely. Keep calling. Okay, Chris Cuomo reporting tonight. And coming up, Dr. Richard Besser.